Epstein-Barr virus. We're gonna go into uh, a teaching on this and I'm gonna break down six needed remedies. I want everyone to pay attention to this one because you may not even know that you have it sitting in your system, but once you come in contact with this virus that's in the family of herpes viruses, it just stays in your system. Oftentimes it never leaves. So this is why this is crucial. The hidden viral giant, Epstein-Barr virus. The viral giant, Epstein-Barr, and six needed remedies that so many people are suffering with and might not even know it. Could it be you? So Epstein-Barr, member of the herpes virus family, monovirus, kissing disease, right? When you first get it, swollen lymph nodes, nausea, fatigue, maybe you had a friend in high school or middle school that got diagnosed with it. Well, that person, it never left. It usually will just stay dormant, but it's passed through bodily fluids. And some people never express symptoms to the virus, other people do. So it passes around very, very easily. It's not always expressed initially, but it can stay dormant inside the system. It's estimated 200 million Americans have this virus inside your system. So is it just safe to say that we could assume or take the approach? I probably have this and I want to take some steps to make sure I am antivirus myself and counteracting it. Or maybe you have some of these symptoms going on and you're going to say, huh, I never knew that could be connected to a virus. Interesting stuff. There's a lot of research on it. Here we go. So the virus generally never leaves the body. So you got to get it at bay and be able to fight it off, beat it down. In the short term, the symptoms we're seeing, like I said, fatigue, rashes, throat issues, uh, lymph issues. That's the typical, the classic. The person's out of school for two to three weeks, right? Or out of college for a couple of weeks, or maybe you got it as an adult version. That's the short term. Then the virus stays in there. Chronically, here's what shows up. Autoimmune nightmare. It's an autoimmune nightmare especially, best example, Hashimoto's. The thyroid, Dr. Living Good? Yes, that little virus sits right on that thyroid and it's actually attacking it and causing problems. But the body, what does it do? What does autoimmune Hashimoto's mean? The body's attacking itself. The body doesn't attack itself. It's attacking something there that we can't see. What if it's a virus sitting there? Oftentimes that's the case. There's viral implications and it's creating autoimmune response and the thyroid's a victim, not the cause. This is the case for lupus cases. This is the case for multiple sclerosis cases. It's tied to celiac disease, rheumatoid arthritis. It has ties to type one diabetes, uh, inflammatory bowel disease, juvenile idiopathic arthritis. Of course, the thyroid conditions, Hashimoto's, but also Graves, both ends of the spectrum, hypo and hyper. And then it also is tied into with some prominent research into cancers, specific types of cancers. So here's this virus, Epstein-Barr virus, floating around in 200 million of us, leading to cancers, and we're not even entirely talking about this thing. That's why I think we gotta pay attention to it. Anemia is linked to this. And then hepatitis and liver problems, it bogs down that liver, which could create a whole host of issues for you. So this is one we gotta pay attention to. So what can we do if we're completely unsure? Now you can get blood tests for this. You can run your general antibodies and have an idea based on your longer term antibodies your doctor can check and look to see if you have elevated longer term antibodies, this might be a reason. There are Epstein-Barr virus tests. You'll have to have that discussion with your health practitioner to understand, okay, how do I actually look into this or seek someone out that does proper testing for Epstein-Barr if you really wanna get it looked at to understand. Now, a lot of times you're just testing, is it live in the system, which is not necessarily meant, uh, you know, finding, is it dormant in the system? So it can be a little bit tricky to do that, but if you do have those just subtly elevated antibodies, long-term antibodies, that might be the signal that says, hey, there's something viral or my body's fighting something here. I need to help this out. Oftentimes that's what you're seeing with a lot of the conditions I just stated, a lot of these autoimmune conditions, that's what's showing up. So six needed remedies if you are struggling with this thing. Number one, vitamin C. High dose vitamin C lowers the viral load of Epstein-Barr and the symptoms of Epstein-Barr. That is PubMed research. That is rock solid. Now that's talking around 6,000 to 8,000 milligrams a day during those symptomatic periods. I take around 1,500 to 2,500 per day on a normal day. So high dose vitamin C. This is found on our store. The high dose vitamin C helps you get that amount in and you can spread it out throughout the day so you don't have bowel intolerance, which means it would just make your stool loose and you would just flush straight through you. So you wanna make sure you're absorbing it. But a high dose vitamin C, very solid research on stopping that viral load and the symptoms. Number two, zinc. Zinc helps the immune response and inhibits viral replication. This is true of you know common viruses right now, as well as Epstein-Barr. So increasing the zinc. Now I would say in order to get it into the cells, 
in order to stop the replication of the virus, you're gonna want quercetin, which is a part of our vitamin C. So quercetin is gonna help zinc get into the cells. Vitamin C is gonna help quercetin do that. So they all three work together. The quercetin is in the vitamin C. There's no need to buy them separate. Take them together, they work together. A lot of people are making that mistake. So zinc inhibits it specifically for Epstein-Barr. Number three, beta-glucan. Commonly talked about for cholesterol. This is the stuff that's in oatmeal that lowers your cholesterol. Oatmeal? Name that movie and I'll give you a hug. My kids love it. So beta-glucan has that impact, but the way that it does it, it's not that oatmeal is the benefit. In fact, I would not advise eating oatmeal because you're gonna take in oats and you're gonna take in sugar and that makes some of you upset because you love your oatmeal. I'm not saying you can never have it, but if you're trying to lose weight still and you're trying to control your sugar levels and you're trying to get your cholesterol down, why would you put more sugar in? That's gasoline for the fire. Instead, take the component of the oats that helps the cholesterol and that's beta-glucan because what beta-glucan does is empower a powerful immune regulating agent and it helps to reduce inflammation. Well, that's gonna have a big impact on a virus creating a bunch of inflammation in your body. So beta-glucan is a great helper for Epstein-Barr, but also for things like cholesterol because it lowers that inflammation and that immune response, which shows you that oftentimes cholesterol is driven by that stuff and it's created oftentimes that inflammation by these viruses, Epstein-Barr. So beta-glucan, that's found in our greens, full dose of it in the Living Good Daily Greens. You're taking your greens just right into your smoothie. You're getting a bottle of beta-glucan in the greens. You can go get one for 50 bucks on Amazon right now or Google, but it's literally in the greens. It's fantastic. I love doing that kind of stuff. So I put that in there. It's just something I want to get in my body on a daily basis. Number four, monolaurin. Monolaurin is a lipid extract from coconut. Lauric acid has powerful antiviral, antibacterial, and antipathogenic activity. Specifically against... You guessed it, Epstein-Barr. This is a must if you are struggling with Epstein-Barr or suspecting of it. If you have one of those autoimmune diseases that we talked about earlier, I'd be taking monolaurin on a daily basis. I'd also be adding in oil of oregano. So I put the two of them together into one supplement so you don't have to buy them separate, which will cost you twice as much. Monolaurin and oregano oil. Monolaurin, lauric acid. We've seen very good clinical results with monolaurin against an Epstein-Barr like that. Number five, silver serum. It's a form of colloidal silver. Colloidal silver is an antiviral agent. And the silver serum is a structured form of colloidal silver, not ionic silver, that is implanted into the structure. It's a trademark ingredient. And it's the silver is implanted into the structure of water so it doesn't fall out of solution. Why does that matter? If silver falls out of solution, it can just go anywhere in your body and it can create side effects. So you want it to stay in the structure of water. Then it acts as a great antiviral antimicrobial. Another very good one, especially in the active stage of Epstein-Barr. Maybe not as much in the chronic stage, although some people do. You just want to make sure your PPV is not too high if you're taking it more regularly, which ours is not because it is a very potent form when it's, because it's in the structure of water, works effectively, silver serum. And then finally, number six, to address the overall causes, clear out the liver, repair the gut, seal up the lining of it, get this fort back built up, locked down so that it can run what it runs 80% of the time, which is your immune system. That's what your digestive system helps run. We've got to get that into check and the way to do that is an advanced gut reset. So this is going to reset the gut. But first you go through 30 days of cleansing microbes from your body, Epstein bar, let alone parasites and other microbes. So you're flushing and knocking those down with specific herbs that do that, detoxing the liver and the kidneys to flush these things out, then going through a resetting process where you're flushing the whole digestive tract, repairing it, rebuilding it back up, replacing the good foods back in and repopulating the needed bacteria to help the immune system get its strength back. So the advanced gut reset, very essential as a protocol for any of those conditions and a possible cause of Epstein, Epstein-Barr. It affects a lot of people. If you need a place to start, grab the Living Good Daily book. It'll get you going on your lifestyle. And as a Living Good Daily lifestyle member, you can get access to things like the advanced gut reset and these resources to continue to understand how to get to the cause of your problems, undiagnose them so that you can live good.